and respect. I grant a hearty welcome, our dear manager. Let me introduce our chief guest of honor and fighting personality, Dr. Manoj Atsambi. So, we thank you for having spared your valuable time to greet with us to your honor presence to online. You have been a source of inspiration for all of us and your availability to our investiture ceremony. It's an encouragement. We are indeed glad that you made our day a memorable one. So we all wholly welcome you with much pleasure and honor. We extend a hearty welcome to our principal, Reverend Sister Sophie Paul, who is the source, encouragement, and always ready to offer both learning and environment for students. Hearty welcome to your dear sister. Abhitya President Sri E. V. Raju, you were with us in our all events and was a part of our school. I grant and honor to welcome to ES for your presence and encouragement. Let us stands an example of commitment, dedication, personal responsibility. Respect your elders, leading God's will, and being an exemplary person who lives with his or her team with enormous love and gratitude. I wish all the wonderful ladies a happy My dear teachers, learning love to God. And advice. I grant you heartily welcome to you. My dear friends, without you, the investiture ceremony would be incomplete. So, to fill the space and chill our celebration, I cheerfully welcome all these students to the program. Thank you. Every woman is a golden one for her who had the vision to recognize it. She leads every child in the path of success. With a plan for the future generation, we have one such dynamic personality, the manager of this great temple of learning. I humbly request Reverend Sister Rosie Xavier, the Council of Visitation Education Board and Assistant Manager of Visitation Congregation, is her to give a valuable message. Dear Reverend Sister Principal Safi Paula, our former MB and Guest of Honor, Mr. Manoj, PG President E.V. Rajan, teachers, parents, and very dearest school parliament members, and my dear students. India models its government and the British parliamentary system with a healthy dose of influence from the United States. We are proud to be Indians and happy to live in a democratic country. We do not have any institutions like Georgetown University in US, which actually trains students for political careers. Today, our class leaders soar publicly before us, distinguished members, teachers, parents and students and take the responsibility as ministers of their class. These class ministers or leaders form school parliament. This gives, or gives them opportunity to leaders to look after the welfare of the school and their class students. A leader should be intelligent and he should be a person of maturity and logical mind. He should inspire people to work towards the vision, sincere, transparent and selfless in his days. Dear students, it is your duty to make your students work hard and excel in academics, co-curricular activities, obedient to elders and authorities, and friendly to companions. Take necessary steps to make your school campus clean and neat. Nowadays, leaders use their power to feather their nests and that of their relatives. But remember the poor and needy always. 
be a good leader like Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, or Abraham Lincoln. When you grow up, gain the support of the common people and achieve miracles. Hearty congratulations and God's blessings to all of you, my dear children.